And, and really change the pace here and, and really blow the judges away and say, wow, he really took, the, took this fight over and won it late. I've got this one scored pretty close, and uh, we'll see what happens. This is round five, the Canadian Fighting Championships, and Mark Holt comes out uh, firing. And like we just talked about, he just came out with an eight-punch combination to start the round out, lands it up with a kick and a punch. Every single thing he's throwing is in ones and twos. He's doing a great job, Keith, of mixing those punches, using those punches to set up some of those high kicks that are connecting. Yeah, he is. And his accuracy on his punches and kicks are phenomenal. This is round five, the main event of the night, Dangerous Dave Zuniga and Mark Boots Holst. This has been thing. unbelievable. Sorry to interrupt. I'll tell you one thing right now is Holst's lead leg is just killing him right now. Zuniga's doing a great job of pushing him back, which is more of a more of a Dutch style. Push the opponent back and then hit him as he's going back while he's standing on that leg. If Zuniga throws a few more of those kicks and then can take that kick up high onto the head, Zuniga could easily knock him out with a head kick. And I've seen Dave do this before. And he's absolutely decimated that lead leg of Mark Holst right now. You can see as we focus in on that lead leg how red it actually is, Keith. Good call. Well, I love watching, too, as you see Holst go backwards. The first thing on his mind he's trying to do is all he's thinking about right now is trying to raise that leg and not take any more shots. And you can see it throwing him off his game a little bit. A couple of nice uppercuts there by Holst, though, to rebound back. And then Zuniga comes back with another kick. And Holst trying to go for the clinch. These two combatants have to be tired, man. This has been unbelievable. Man, they're exhausted right now, but you know what? They're professionals, and they keep coming forward. Again, look at Holst as he's backing up. He keeps raising those legs up because he just does not want to take another shot. I'm guessing hard to have the punching power if you don't have that front leg firmly rooted, Keith. Absolutely. There's no way right now in this round, or I don't think there's a chance that either one of them can knock each other out because they have no root to stand on, but they can certainly outpoint each other. And again, if... If Zeninga can get him to drop those hands even more and come with a high roundhouse kick to the front, he's got a good chance to knock him up. And Zeninga right now is taking numerous shots dead on the, on the chin and missing all his return shots. You got it. I mean, he's getting measured by Holtz that landed probably a good 8 out of 12 shots right there and solid ones. Holtz, to me, seems to be the fresher fighter in terms of his cardio. I just think that, uh, that Zuniga's done a great job on that front leg, and I think that's really preventing Holtz from putting the kind of mustard on those punches he'd like to. Well, Keith, as a promoter, uh, you couldn't be happier than a five-round main event that's been back and forth and this close and, you know, a lot of heart in that ring right now. You know, I came here as, as a ring announcer and doing this uh, work with you gentlemen, but I'm a little bit jealous because Giuseppe has done an amazing card and his matchmaker, Marc-Andre Goulet, has done a great job of matchmaking. This has been an awesome card to start to finish and to end this, for me anyway, because of my background, with a five-round war between these two gentlemen. It's just a fantastic night of fighting. Two solid right hands by Holtz that landed and another one and Zuniga, there's no quitting him. These two are going at it to score on the judges' cards here in the fifth round. Back and forth, Zuniga, still some left, and he takes a shot. And you can see how fired up the fans are here at the Canadian Fighting Championships. Wow, dangerous Dave Zuniga, Mark Boots, Holst. Action like this guaranteed here on the CFC. I think the question here is, was that flurry, that 20-second flurry at the end by Zuniga enough to get this round? He's obviously looking to finish strong and steal the round. He took a lot of shots that round. We're going to have to go to the judges' scorecard to see the decision. I want to give out that website one more time, Cyrus, CanadianFighting.com for more details on upcoming live events and television events with the Canadian Fighting Championships. Been a pleasure working with you and, of course, the man that's getting back up in the ring to make the final announcement, the legendary Keith Crawford. Thanks for joining us here on the CFC, by the way. And I'll tell you what, I can hardly wait to see what else comes in future cards. We had some great matchups tonight. Robin Black, victorious, the former rock star, now MMA star. Also a big win for Dominic Blaze from Winnipeg, Manitoba. And this main event did an unbelievable deal. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening. This was an unbelievable battle. Let's hear for these two warriors. We have a split decision. Judge Tapper scores the fight 47-48. Hoist. Judge Jackson scores the fight 49-46. Zaninga. Judge Saul scores the fight 48-47. For your winner, 
by split decision in the blue corner.